I was talking to a Facebook friend of mine, and I, I won't say her name. Uh, and I'll just go over it briefly, and I'll go over it more detail later. But she was the first girl that I've ever, f- that I fell in love with. Oh. And she was the one who has the honor of popping the Daryl Cherry. Oh, wow. She's, but she didn't know it. Like, uh. she, she found out today. She found out less than an hour ago. Okay, so you, you basically you basically made it out like you had had sex with you. Oh, absolutely. You, so, absolutely. So you lied to her, essentially. I don't know that I lied to her because I cannot imagine that I actually went to her and said, Look, I've done this. I've done this several times. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I was... It, I, wasn't, it wasn't brought up. I don't think it was brought up. And I was, I was... I think I was like 15 or 16. So for most of my friends either were already having sex or at least they'd said that they were. Mm-hmm. You know, so I was thinking that it's, it's over. In fact... Yeah, I was 15 because I didn't have my car yet. Or maybe I was 16. I don't know. It was in that year. How did, how did you get it? How did you get some if you didn't have a car? I thought that was a requirement. Why would a require why would a car be a requirement? I don't know. I thought I thought that was the thing. No, she was into me. She wasn't oh. into the material of what was known as uh the the Sir Daryl lifestyle. She okay. was into me personally, you see. Okay. So I was able to get on my bike and go over to her house and we would just hang out every day after school. I love this girl, but she didn't know it. And I didn't tell her that. Like, I realize, like, as I get older and I reflect back, I realize how much of an asshole I was. <laughs> I'm, I'm not joking. I, saw, I, I, I was I know you're such not, an it's asshole. Still, it's still funny to me. I was sorry. such an asshole to this girl that to this day I don't get why she's so nice to me. I don't understand it. I wouldn't be that way towards me if I were. And so to find out today. For her to find out today that not only was I in love with her, but that she stole the Daryl virginity. Uh, and she was completely shocked. She had no idea. You know, she, she gave me a compliment here or there saying, how could I have been the first? Because you know how girls like to do. They lie to you and tell you that you were good. That kind of thing. She, she did but that. When really, when really what they do is they're just faking it. Yeah, you know, completely. The, 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 the O, if you will. She was probably falling asleep throughout the whole thing. You know, I, I wouldn't know. I was having a ball. But she was probably falling asleep. I'd watched lots of porn prior to that, though. I'm sure. So I'm sure. I really thought that I knew what I was doing based off of the example of the people that I watched. In my day, we had the Vanessa Del Rios, we had the Ellie Rio, we had Seika, and um, then there were some um, other people. I, for so it was, it was Ron Jeremy active at that point? Ron Jeremy was actually very active at that point. He wasn't yeah. just directing, he was actually participating mm-hmm. in movies. And I, you know, I got my porn stash together and I would watch and watch and watch and then I would go practice and practice and practice. You know, like with her. But apparently, just right off the bat, she thought that I had done this before. And mm-hmm. so that made me feel a little bit honored. She still clearly knows how to stroke the Sir Daryl ego. But I feel <laughs> bad that I did. I never told her. I did not treat her well at all. And now at 41, I feel like crap about it, you know? Mm-hmm. I feel like crap. I saw her once in a um, school back when I was in Chicago. And I, I was, I had a client that was performing at this particular school. It was a gospel singer. I used to do like graphic design for him. And I saw her there. And I think that I spoke to her when we walked in. Did you? Did you have? Did you have reminiscing? Did you have reminiscent sex then? No, 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 no. no See, no. listen, oh, listen. Okay. I'm gonna tell you what happened, and you'll realize that I, I've known that I was an asshole for quite some time. Mm-hmm. And so when I saw her, I was hoping that she didn't see me. Right. And then finally, when I realized that she did see me, I, I, I spoke to her for a second and I think I made some sort of a reference that we'll catch up again after this whole thing is over with. But I made sure that I dipped out the side door <laughs> so that I would not have to see her after we got out of there. Oh but here's, here's why. Because I was so damn mean to her that I, ha- I was so riddled with guilt. You were afraid. Not afraid. I didn't think she was going to, like, yell at me or okay. curse at me so or anything like of, that. You didn't leave out of fear. You no. You left out of guilt. I left out of sheer guilt. I couldn't even believe that I was face-to-face with the person that I'd been such an asshole to and that she was being so nice to me. If she, like, ran up to me and started cursing at me and screaming at me, I would have been able to accept that. I would have been able to accept that. But no, she was nice to me. See, that's the thing. You you can kill people with kindness sometimes. She was so damn nice to me that I wasn't able to even... I couldn't talk to her after that. What am I going to say? 
what am I going to say? Like, you know, why the hell are you acting this way? Because in my mind, she was acting very weird by being nice to me. Oh, the uh, rational way to act would have been a, inside of this gospel uh, uh, place. It was a school, but it was a gospel show. Inside of that, she would have been justified in cursing me completely out. Even Absolutely. though it was a gospel setting. Absolutely. She would have been justified. And I think that all of the people in the gospel setting, if she turned to them and told them what I did... They would have cursed at you too. Let me tell you one of the things that I did. You know what? I'll, I'll save that for a later time. Because it's so horrible. It's so horrible that if I say it on air, I won't even be able to go. I won't even be able to go on with the rest of my day. <laughs> I won't be able to go on. All right, I'm going to tell you, MCS. You dragged it out of me. All right. Yay, I'm good. You are incredible. Apparently, and I swear to you, I don't remember this, right? Mm -hmm. But apparently, she wanted me to take her to the prom. Now, we were no longer dating at that point. And I wasn't... In there, you, like, you, you you don't even remember that she wanted to take you to the prom. No memory of it at all. None. You, and you, no, you no, no, no. It gets worse. It gets it gets worse. <laughs> you are an asshole. It gets worse. <laughs> Apparently, she wanted me to take her to the prom. Uh -huh. Apparently, I said I would take her to the prom. But and you it, didn't. And then I didn't. But oh! no, it, no, it gets worse. MCS. Are you kidding? And no, I'm not. Apparently, she went to my mom's house upset. And asking her if she could talk to me. And apparently my mother did talk to me. And I still didn't do it. But I think that the worst part of this whole and thing did not is I this. don't remember any of this. That is horrible. The only way that I slightly remember is that my mother and my sister have both shared with me that this happened. I wish I could get my mother on the phone right now. I'm going to try. <laughs> I just want to see whether or not my mother still remembers this. Maybe I'll be just, maybe I'll feel like my mother doesn't remember or she, yeah. well, hey mom. Hey, son. What are you doing? Talking to your sister. Like right there or on the phone? On the phone. Uh, can I just talk to you for just oh, just one brief minute? Okay. Okay. Do you remember telling me years and years ago that a girl wanted me to take her to the prom and she came to the house and you end up talking to me about it, but I wouldn't listen to you? And yes. I did. Okay. That did happen. That's what you're I don't remember it. I only remember you telling me about it. Uh -oh. That That you're telling me that it did happen? It did happen. She wanted you to take her to the prom. And do you... And I was asking, why do you didn't want to take her? And when you realized that I was not going to do it, did you think badly of me? Did you think less of me as your son? No, I feel bad for her, though. Because she really wanted you to take her. So she was really into me then? Yes. I'm and such she... a bad person, Mom. I, I am hard... Don't say I know. <laughs> 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 don't, don't don't say it like that. <laughs> it's not too late for me to put you away. But it did happen. I'm putting you away. You know what? Okay, I from now on, let me just say this. From now on, if I call and ask you a question like that, it's okay to answer my question, but okay. I don't need but your don't extra comment. Yeah, I don't need your extra commentary about it. Oh, uh, well you ask They me. have little places where I can put you away and then just come visit you by looking at you through a, a hole in the wall. You do know that. But I have to be Unable to sign papers for myself. Trust me, when I get done right talking now, to those, I can sign papers when I get done myself. talking to those people, they'll think that you can't do anything. <laughs> That's not. I'm not worried about that. But it's more than you to say. Oh, I can get the other people on board. Don't look. Just trust so? me. Trust well, me. Let me talk back to your sister. You don't want to. I gotta go. My, I, I've gotta go. I don't have time for this. I gotta talk. <laughs> I gotta talk UFOs. You seen any UFOs lately? Nope. All right. I gotta go. Okay. Goodbye. Bye bye. Do you see that MCS? Mm -hmm. And she's not, and, and I didn't need her extra commentary. That, that's the thing about my mom that, that, that throws me. Why doesn't she, why can't she just answer the question? Why can't my mother just answer the question that I <laughs> ask her without feeling the need to throw all types of extra commentary into the situation? If I ask my mother a question, she can just answer it. I'm telling you I'm putting that woman away, MCS. I don't need her ridiculing me on the air like that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, um... Are you, are you gonna, like, donate her to science or something? No, I, I, yeah, I'll donate her to the science while she's still alive. Let them poke exactly. and prod her now. Let them put crap up next to her brain right now. Because I don't, I'm already feeling bad about what I did. I don't need my own mother coming on the air to make me feel worse.